Hey guys, what's up? So I wanna know what you guys think about the BRICS nations starting their own currency. And what do you guys think that's gonna to do to the US dollar? In my opinion, I think what's gonna happen is they're going to pivot away from, the, they are pivoting away from the dollar. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have, um, the US dollar is gonna start losing you know, relevance around the world. And I think the US is probably gonna print more money this year. There's, they're gonna look for some excuse to print more money this year. And when they do, that's gonna devalue the currency even more. Home values are just waiting to go up. As soon as the rates drop, as soon as the rates drop, values are going to shoot up. So the BRICS nations starting their own currency is going to essentially bring that inflation back home, in my opinion. In my opinion, the inflation is going to come back home uh, tenfold over the next couple years. And I think that the US government's freaking out and they don't know how to, how to deal with it. That's why the Fed hasn't dropped rates. If the Fed drops rates tomorrow, home values will start shooting up. That's a fact. Because the, the Fed's rate is essentially the floor, right? And so all your banks and institutions go off of the Fed's interest rates, right? So when the Fed raises, everyone else raises. When the Fed drops, everyone else drops. So why does the Fed do this? Because it tightens and loosens money supply in the economy. It allows you to borrow for less money. So the Fed is essentially the throttle for the economy. But when you have essentially an opposing currency, a group of some of the largest economies coming together, starting a competing currency that is going to rival the dollar. What do you think that's gonna to do to the dollar's superiority as the world reserve currency? So I think it's going to affect it big time. I think the US dollar is gonna to lose tons of value. I think values are gonna to continue to shoot up in the US. Um, home values will be. Car and food prices are gonna to continue to go up as well. And that's all because of the, that's all because of the money supply that was printed over the last two years, causing massive inflation. And globally, the U.S. dollar is losing its its respect. So you have a lot of people losing respect in the U.S. economy and the uh, and in the U.S. dollar, combined with the BRICS nations starting their own currency, a competing currency. So now it's going to show that a lot less oil and goods and services traded and purchased in dollars. So that's why the U.S. dollar is going to lose its superiority over, you know, in the next couple of years in the world economy, which is going to essentially contribute to more inflation here stateside which is going to make more prices prices of your homes continue to go up even more um and affordability is going to become that much more difficult for the average person so if right now the average if right now the average person um the average household of four to live comfortably is going to take around 200 grand. Most people will not be living comfortably, let alone retiring in the United States. That's why I think you see a massive, uh, a massive jump in people, you know, wanting to live abroad, you know, make us dollars here, earn us dollars, but then stretch those us dollars overseas somewhere else, providing an alternative lifestyle for Americans. And I'm curious to, what, to, to know what you guys think um, with the BRICS nations starting their, their currency along with the inflation that is stagnant here in the, in the States and 
um, with people also looking to live outside the United States as well. I'm curious to know what you guys think about that. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.